lots of people would love to keep chickens, but they live in an urban space. So I've come to East London to show you that it can be done. Meet Martin Williams. He keeps three chickens and he's been doing this for two years. Fresh eggs was a, a big driver. Um, letting the kids have some animals, uh, some pets really, that they could play with, but which were useful instead of a sort of cat or a dog that just eat things and don't give you anything back. And also they help with the gardening. They're good in the garden, uh, eating pests and, and getting rid of rubbish that we've got as well. Do they really lay a lot of eggs? Like, during the summer and the spring and summer and autumn we get loads of eggs, usually three eggs a day, but each of the chickens will lay between five and six eggs a week. So yeah, Look real at those. decent stack of eggs. Brilliant. Do you know which, which hen laid those? Yeah, the white one, the big white one. The black one lays very dark brown eggs and the little one lays white eggs, but smaller. So they are them. properly free range in a hackney way? Well, they, I mean, that's more space than they would be. If they were free range chickens that you were buying eggs from down the supermarket, they wouldn't have as much space as they've got in there. Hello, little chickens. Don't be afraid. This is a very interesting plumage. Well, this is what, a, is, <laughs> what is this? This particular breed, she's called a Poland, um, which just is one of the crested breeds. Um, She's the easiest one to catch because she can't see you coming from behind. Um, <laughs> so she's molting. Does that mean that she's not laying eggs at the moment? Well, they tend to stop laying eggs or slow down in the uh, winter anyway. So at the minute, we've only got one chicken laying eggs. Um, but come the spring, they'll get going again. Uh, it tends to be sort of November through to maybe February when, when we get less eggs. They're not quite such petty animals as your dog or cat might be. And the, the kids know that they're going to get eaten at some point. Um, and they're, they're pretty Brutal. practical about it. Brutal. I think it's important the kids know where food comes from and know what meat is, and they are very practical about it and quite happy for to eat things that have been shot, eat a rabbit or something like that. They know exactly what it all is. Oh, cover your poor ears, Poland. I'm going to let you down now. There you are. So this is an egg glue, which is a kind of quite a posh urban chicken house. Yeah, these are. This is the big egg glue as well, the the cube. Um, you can have up to ten chickens in that, although I can't ten? Think that would be a bit crowded. Um, <laughs> But we've built our own um, cage for them that'll run to, to attach to it because that gave the chickens a bit more space and fitted in the space we had in the garden a little so bit. So you back. built all this? Yeah, this is just, we just made this up ourselves and just attached the ugly to it as best we could. This is 400 quid and then you put this all up and then it's not, they're not really sort of paying you back in eggs particularly. We pay very little money to feed them and we're getting 12 eggs a week, which when they're organic expensive eggs, that's, that's well over um, two pounds a week worth of eggs so it wouldn't take that long to pay back the 500 pounds we perhaps spent on getting them in the first place. And how do you find the egg glue? Is it easy to kind of clean out and everything? It's the real advantages of because it's plastic it really is easy to clean. It's easier to keep pests down. You can get various mites living in the wood and things um, and, and it's much easier to get rid of them than this kind of thing. It's also quite practical that the, it's got a tray underneath which you take out with all the poo on it and it's got a separate nesting box that you can uh, easily clear out and a, a handy catch on the side where you can get your eggs out without having to open the whole thing. So it's, it's quite well thought out. They are a bit expensive, but it does save you a lot of money in the messing about in the long run. So you've got this feed and then you've got scraps, obviously. Yep, they do really well on scraps. Um, just leftover stale crusts. They love apple cores. That's one of the kids' one, marmite chicks. and toast. We actually tend to give them marmite and toast once a week anyway, because it's got it's good vitamin supplement for them. I like a chicken that knows what it wants. They eat a huge number of scraps in the garden because we grow quite a lot of our own food. You have to net stuff off, when, especially little seedlings, they'll, they'll kill them off. But as soon as the plants are bigger and more established, then actually they're more useful because they, they eat so many slugs out from around the base of them that even if they do have the, the odd bite at the edge of your cabbage, it's, it's, it's worth it. We break up all our leaves and chuck them in there as bedding and they both break it down and poo all over them so they, they rot down a lot quicker and we get much more compost and, and better compost as a result of the chickens. Now there were four chickens, there's now three. What has occurred? Because this is obviously a sad story. One day the fox came to visit and, and took one of the chickens. So since then they've been a lot more cooped up and they come out in the garden while we're out here. But if we're in the house, we have to put them back in the cage again. So the big question, how long are these ones going to last and are you going to eat them? Well, they, they'll lay eggs for between two to three years and then their egg laying really slows down. And we're not going to keep them if they're not laying eggs because we haven't got space to get new ones and I'm not feeding chickens that don't provide us anything back. Um, I think the trick is, do you kill them early when they're still tender enough to eat and miss out on some of the eggs, or do you kill them later when probably they're not fit for a great deal of cooking, but at least you've had the maximum number of eggs. If I'm honest, we were going to do the early one, uh, but we never got around to buying new chickens, so by default they've ended up lasting a bit longer. 